is Andrew Krauss. I co-founded InventRight with Stephen Key over 18 years ago, and ever since we've been coaching and mentoring inventors. Today, I want to cover sell sheets. This is a very important topic. It is literally the most important tool you have when licensing your idea. Why is that? Well, because basically you don't want to have to sell over the phone. And when you email your sell sheet to somebody, they need to get it in six to 10 seconds. That marketing manager, whoever you send your sell sheet to, needs to understand your product in six to 10 seconds. They are very, very busy. They won't take time to look through your whole website or look through a rambling email or anything like that. And I'm going to show you some examples of sell sheets and the components of them. So when you get your graphic designer, these key points, you need to give them the marketing because your graphic designer is not your marketing person. You're the marketing person. And the sell sheet is the most important sales tool you can possibly have when licensing your idea. So let's get started. What is a sell sheet? It's a one-page advertisement for your product idea. We've been advertised to our entire life. We see advertisements all the time. Here's an example of a, a billboard when you're driving down the freeway, a product packaging, and kind of a sell sheet here. So when you're driving down the freeway, you need to get what their advertising piece is very, very quickly, even faster than six to 10 seconds, right, for a sell sheet. So right here, it's a call to action. Call now for a free cleaning, phone number, email. Very direct and to the point because they're literally driving down the freeway. You better not be rambling there. And it's not that much different when you're emailing companies. Now, this is a, just a product package, but it's an example of a benefit, showing the benefit, ultra flex, expandable strength showing the fist pushing through the plastic, showing the box pushing through the plastic and still not breaking. When you, if you're just walking down the aisle in the store and you glanced over at this package, you would understand the, pro, the benefit of this product right away. They aren't rambling on how it's you know, 0 0.05 millimeters thick and all these like boring features that don't really tell me what's the benefit to me, which is what a lot of inventors do. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Frappuccino. Leave your coffee press at home. So basically, you just grab the Frappuccino and go. You don't have to take the time to make coffee. These are all extremely direct, and you need to be equally direct with your sell sheet. So what are the elements of a sell sheet? Well, you have a, a one-line benefit statement. Then you're going to have a picture or multiple pictures of a product. And then you're going to have, and we purposely did this, this is features. No, you don't want just a bunch of features. You could have a few. You could say stainless steel, this or that but it's not really telling you the benefit of the product. You're not gonna be able to cram all your benefits in the one line statement. So you can put the extra benefits down here and maybe a feature or two, but do not list just an endless list of features here, okay? So the one line benefit statement, it's like, uh, makes it easy to jack up your car in half the time with no mess. That's a little long, right? Um, makes it easier to clean your windows. Um, uh, the, the, the easy way to garden, right? But I'm going to show you some products there. Those are just make up the top of my head. I'm going to show you some products with one line benefit statements. It's going to make it a little bit more clear for you. So, but you can't put them all in this one line benefit statement. So you're going to put the other ones, not, you're not all the features, but all the benefits here, these bullet points. And you're not going to include 20 little pictures that you can barely see. It may be one big picture, it may be two, before and after, I'll show you some examples. And then you gotta have your contact information down there at the bottom. Most of you are just gonna do a sell sheet, but if you did have a video in addition to a sell sheet, you probably have a link to it, okay? So these are some of the main components. So what is the benefit statement of this, this one? This is kind of an example of a storyboard, like one, two, three. And you don't always have to do this, but I wanted to show you an example of it. Uh, perfect lines every time. So I guess some guys like to shave, like that, and this you put the tape on the razor, and then you can get that perfect line every time. Very, very clear and to the point. On well, what could be kind of a complex to understand product if you were rambling on the phone, try to explain this on the phone. Are you kidding me? You get the product right away. Now, they may or may not be interested, but you know it wasn't because of your bad presentation. Uh, this is a before and after. Wood aging colorant. Okay, I, I know what that, it's a colorant, okay. Get that beautiful old weathered look with one application. And here's before and after. That's in under 10 seconds. Before and after examples, that's another example. So, um, and this is an example of good and bad design. So it's more or less the same, the same copy, but you see how a designer makes it look beautiful on the right and on the left-hand side, it's the same copy, but it just doesn't work. 
This is why you should not do your own graphic design. This on the right looks so much better. Exact same marketing copy, or more or less exactly the same. Um, pretty much is there. Yeah, it's exactly the same. Um, crazy, crazy good. Um, so this is an example of just showing some context. So it has the tiling sponge. Use the tiling sponge is, is the fast, clean, and easy way to install tile. So that's the benefit statement. Using the tiling sponge is the fast, clean, and easy way to install tile. And this is not a fancy cell sheet. This is a really simple cell sheet. But you get it where this over here, eh, not so much. And then you could do a little, little virtual prototyping, very little here on these little ridges. Okay. Um, this is an example of what a lot of inventors try to send to companies. This does not work. You could be you could be doing everything else great. You could be have the right list of companies. You could be filing provisionals. You could be doing making this beautiful prototype that works or doesn't work or you know it works or whatever. And it's all for naught if you send something like this. Um, so that's not going to cut it. All right. Um, let's go go here. So these are some examples of of, of what your cell sheet can look like. So insert, push in, remove clog. Oh, okay, and you can see it has some barbs here. Unclogs drains in seconds. See, it has some barbs on it. Oh, okay, it's pulling up the drain. That accomplishes that six to ten seconds I got it, right? And then the, the Nobrella flower vase, turn your patio's table, empty umbrella hole into a beautiful floral centerpiece. It's beautiful. That's what a graphic designer can do for you. But if, if you didn't have a good benefit statement here, this would be very confusing you would not know what the heck this thing was. Turn your patio table's empty umbrella hole into a beautiful floral centerpiece. Oh, okay, I think, and then you look down and you're like, oh, I get it. So the combination of the picture and the benefit statement is, is key, okay? It's another one, two-in-one leveling scoop. Scoop and level with one tool. Scoops flour and other dry ingredients. Straight edge levels flowers in one fell swoop. Finger loop handle for easy storage. But you're not going to put finger loop handle for easy storage up here. Scoop and level with one tool. It's got to be a little, you don't have to be clever. You just have to be direct to the point. It's the big benefit and includes other benefits and features down here. And this one happens to have a storyboard. You don't always have to have a storyboard. A lot of products you don't. You just have one picture and you're good. A lot of products you just have a picture here. You don't need all this down here, right? So these are some examples of, of cell sheets. But what you need to do for your graphic designer is you need to create a one sentence benefit statement which is a not an easy thing to do and then you need to create some bullet points okay so what i would do is don't tell your friends and family what it is show them the benefit statement show them the bullet points and maybe a picture of the product if you have one and and say and just look at them spin it around on your laptop have look at their face and see if they're confused uh, but you can use your own judgment as well if, as long as, keep in mind, when companies, when people and companies are seeing your sell sheet, they have no context whatsoever. They're seeing it for the first time. So act as if you have no idea what this product is. Look at your benefit statement and look at these other benefits and go, well, if I saw this for the first time, would I get it? It's a really hard thing for you to do as the inventor because you've been wrapped up in the product for a really long time. Okay? And you have to give it some nice thought. Of what is a product picture? that's going to help people easily understand. Can I combine one line benefit statement, bullet points in the picture, and the combination of those things, they're going to get it in six to 10 seconds. That's what you need to do. Okay, thank you very much. I, I hope you found this helpful. Um, you, your graphic designer is not your marketer. You need to be the marketer. You need to come up with a good one sentence benefit statement of bullet points and your thoughts about what pictures are going to represent your product well, and then they're going to make it pretty, prettier than you ever could on your own, unless you're a graphic designer yourself, in which case you can probably do it yourself. But if you're not a full-time graphic designer, don't even try it. Thank you. Take care and keep inventing, everyone. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.